The cottage was close by the garden gate. It was not mighty hard to find it. A couple of gum trees grew just in front, and a pigsty grew just behind it. There was milk cows and sheep on the clover flat, and a creek where the water ran, and the mistress of all was the widow McCall, and I was her handyman. As sweet as the bloom on the orchard trees, and lovely like flowers in spring, but the widow's daughter, Jemima Ann, ah, oh, she was sweeter as everything. She walked on the very ground I loved, and her eyes were so lovely brown that whenever I see that she looked at me, I felt myself topside down. I loved my life as I loved that girl, on a wink from her twinkling eye, when I helped her to mount on the old brown mare made me feel about twelve feet high. And when she cantered home as the sun went down, and I lifted her up to the ground, when I felt her yump, my heart went bump, and I felt about twelve feet round. So I says to myself, I must have that girl, for without her I ain't no use. So I told her one day what a duck she was, and she told me I was a coose. Then a shearer come down from the Lachlan, about as tall as a bullshit door, and he took her away on a bullet dray, and she never comes back some more. Then I goes what you call, clean off your shumps. I crines up my teeth, and I swear. I knocks myself down mid a bag of shaft, and I picks myself up by my hair. I swear I could hang and drown myself, and fill myself up mid shot, too. But just when I run to get my gun, the vida she told me not to. And she said as she fried me some eggs for mine tea and her tears splutted in the pan, was it not good enough to her daughter lose without losing her handyman? Was the fish not as good what was in the sea like the fish what was taken out? If the snapper I sought got snapped up and caught, there was plenty more swimming about. I said to the vida, where is that fish? The one that you just told me. When I down sat myself by the vida's side, and the vida she never scolded me. As the vida she mix up her tears mit mine, I caught pray, and my heart grew bolder. So my left arm I placed round the vida's waist, and the vida's head on my shoulder. As sweet as the smell from the new fried eggs what the vida was just been frying, and sweet for us to glance from the vida's eye, mit her head on my shoulder lying. If I kissed her ten times, I kissed her once, before ever I thought of stopping, and the big bullock bell in the milk pan fell, and we never heard it dropping. I takes my place in the parlour now, in the kitchen hangs my hat, and the milk cows feed just across the creek, and the sheep in the clover flat. I snapped up that fish what was swimming about, and I never some more got mad, and I thinks of a night as mine smoke by by light that I didn't do not too bad.